Conservative venture capitalists Peter Thiel and J.D. Vance are investing in the video platform called Rumble. It's gained popularity among right-leaning users in recent months. Tech experts say many conservatives are switching to alternative social media channels like Rumble because it's less strict on hate speech and misinformation. For more, I want to bring in CBSN tech reporter Dan Patterson. Dan, why was Rumble created, and did its creators actually think it would become what it what it has? Hey, Lana, good to see you. So Rumble is a video site a lot like YouTube. It was founded in Toronto in 2013 by Chris Pavlovsky. Uh, and he told me that at the time he was kind of disillusioned with two components of YouTube. One, the algorithm that sifts and sorts uh, and recommends videos. And two, the monetization around advertising and uh, specifically the demonetization of videos that YouTube found controversial and to rumble what they call free speech. A lot of conservative sites say free speech. That's really a euphemism for uh, we don't moderate or or we lightly moderate content, uh, especially around disinformation, misinformation, um, and uh, sometimes hate speech or or uh, violent speech. Um, rumble attracted a number of right wing figures, including. Uh, uh, talk show host Dan Bongino. Um, he's also a Trump supporter and Donald Trump Jr. So it's uh, had a long ride, mm-hmm. but uh, a pretty interesting story. Yeah, we, we saw Donald Trump Jr. endorsing Rumble in a tweet. How involved is he in the platform? Well, uh, Trump Jr. joined Rumble in February of this year. Uh, he posted a video, uh, again, using the free speech language, uh, saying this is a very important uh, platform. You know, Rumble creates partnerships, uh, a lot like a a lot of other social sites do, and they sell advertisements as well. Uh, It's unclear whether Donald Trump Jr. has such a partnership or a financial relationship with Rumble, um, but he's certainly posting pretty frequently. Uh, He's kind of like a YouTuber, but on Rumble, he posts in front of his desk uh, missives about politics uh, and culture. Uh, I, I mean, he looks a lot like a YouTuber. It, he doesn't have the scale. He's not doing the numbers he would probably do on YouTube, where uh, likely someone like him would attract millions of views. Um, but he's attracting tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of views, uh, speaking to uh, maybe a very niche uh, audience, but one that's uh, pretty engaged. Well, tell us more about uh, what this investment means and what's really next for Rumble, Dan. So um, we don't know the precise amount of money that was invested uh, by Peter Thiel, like you mentioned. Also, J.D. Vance, the author, uh, was a part of this venture capital round. It came from a Cincinnati VC firm, which is fairly unusual. It's also unusual to not really know the price, but analysts have uh, speculated that this uh was a sizable investment that values the company at around a half billion dollars. This is a 30-person company, once again, based in Toronto. So that money will go a long way, Lana. Uh, So when I spoke with Chris, he said that the money would be used, um, and any investment money would be used to uh, strengthen their back-end infrastructure, uh, you know, uh, servers, and and to create... uh, Uh, tighten their code and to create a a platform that can scale. And that might be some of the challenges that they face. Look, they're not a software developer. They don't create technology. They use fairly common technology to serve videos. Um, And, you know, their audience might just be a, a... have a market cap. So they might have a a kind of a limit to Hmm. where they can grow in terms of active users, but they won't be limited by money. Well, very interesting about front. All right, Dan, thanks. Good to see you.